it's nice and easy. Got this one. Right across. Make sure that flap in there is not curled over, it's nice and neat. Push all that up into there, nice and neat. Make that nice and flat. And then put that in, make sure the D-ring is over that hole. pin's not there. Damn it. Um, I've obviously haven't turned it on from the last dive. If I turn it on, this arm will go because I've got it set on a separate. I've got my controller on an Elevon set up. Um, hang on. It's quick. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without breaking a steering line. I have two skydivers. I'm going to find the jack. Alright, so I've got it on the one stick instead of the two because putting rubber bands around the pots of your radio isn't good. If you've got them up like that and there's pressure on it and you're pulling down while there's pressure, it does. it's not very good for the radio gimbals. Um, my first diver where I've done that has actually broken the throttle in the actual internals of the radio. So put that on. Alright, there we go. So my diver is now on. Pins up. Put that around your pin. Hold that on the string. That in, make it nice and easy and neat. The risers aren't really in where I wanted them to be, but anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Um, packing the pilot chute is easy. Just pull that up like that so they all align. Grab that. Yeah, go in. In like that. And of course when you've got your drop box you'll put your pin through, take that out and yeah you're pretty much ready to go. That's it. Um, I'll show you what it opens like. You'll see that the first thing when this is open, the centre cell. So opening. Centre cell is going to open first. You pretty much see that the tail is already out. All this is going to catch here and it's just going to open. It's pretty much packing the chute open. Um, so that was pretty much the flat pack job. Thanks guys.